so good morning student today we are to discuss the new topics what is power brakes so what is in power brakes the brakes are operated by other than physical efforts at a brake pedal are known as a power brakes power may be exerted by air pressure so what is air brake so air brakes are applied by the pressure of compressed air air pressure applies force on a brake shoe through a suitable linkage to operate the brakes and air compressor is used to compress air and this compressor is run by the engine power so operation of air brakes is similar to the what is hydraulic brakes expect that in either uh, their case compress air is used to apply the brake instead of hydraulic pressures so air brakes are commonly used in heavy vehicles like truck buses okay so what are the main parts of this air brake system air compressor reservoir brake chamber quick release valve relay valve unloaded valve brake valve warning signals so this is the brake chambers this is the brake valve this is the reservoir this is two accessories unloaded valve compressor air filter this is the atmospheric air these are the brake chambers okay guys now what is the general layout if you observe here in this uh, this is the complete layout of the air braking system for bus or truck so this is our reservoirs okay this is our gauge this is the quick release valve horse brake chambers slack adjusters horse brake valve safety valve compressor slack adjuster brake chamber tubing t house so this is the general layout so what is here the compressor take the air from atmospheres so this compressor if you consider take the air from atmosphere through the filters this is observed in this diagram So what is first of all the compressor is take the air from the atmosphere through the filter. The filter is which remove the whatever the dust which is present inside that. This will be removed and the air will be stored here inside the compressors. And the compressed air is sent to the reservoir. Where is sent this compressed air? It is sent to the reservoir, guys. So observe in this diagram. The compressor through the compressor the air will be circulate where through inside the reservoir. through the unloaded valves so this uh, compressed air whenever we passes through this reservoir which valve will be there unloaded valve is open and the compressed air is transferred to the reservoir which gets lifted at a predetermined reservoir pressure about the how much 900 kilo pascal pressures okay and relieve the compressor of a load from the reservoir the air goes to the various accessories and also the brake chambers also called as diaphragm units at each wheel through the brake valves so through the brake valves this will be transferred to the our brake chambers means the wheels of our vehicles and from the brake valve this pressure will be transmitted the control of a brake valve is with the driver when who can control the intensity of a braking according to the requirements so by using the pedal the driver is adjusted all these things to the brake valve all this air will be released here like that in seat to this brake valves okay so when the brake are uh, brakes are applied the air pressure in the reservoir is decreases when the pressure drop to approximately 700 kilo pascals the governor again cuts the compressor from the race system pressure in the case the air system falls about the 400 kilo pascals a warming usually in the form of buzzer is sounded the main components have been discussed in the following paragraph like that means air compressor like that will be discussed later on so if you consider in this uh, this uh, unloaded valve so here the pressure in the system must be maintained at recommended values and excessive pressure will result in the fires breaking so this is our unloaded valves we know the reservoir here the reservoir this is our reservoir or tank store compressed air at specific uh, pressure 
or a break applications it is made up of steel sheet a safety wall is provided there at the top of the reservoir to regulate the air pressures if you observe here guys safety wall is provided here to regulate the pressures a drain plug is also used provided at the bottom of the periodic draining of the reservoir so without which a lubrication oil from the compressor and moisture in the air will form emulsion which will be damage other brake units such as brake wall or brake chambers this is our brake walls so what is the operation of the brake wall this is our brake wall will be there to so control the intensity of brake in air pressure systems okay it consists of spring loaded system piston cylinder will be discussed later so what is the advantages of disadvantages of this air brake so air brakes much more powerful than ordinary mechanical or hydraulic brakes simplified in chassis diagram the compressed air from the reservoir apart from the braking can be used for tire inflammation wind screen wiper and forms etc disadvantages involve relatively more parts the air compressed in a certain amount of the engine powers so look at the discussion of this another is vacuum or servo brakes what is this vacuum or servo brakes you observed here guys we will be discuss now so vacuum brakes are of piston or diaphragm operating in a cylinders for a applications of a brakes one side of the piston is subjected to atmospheric pressure while other is applied for vacuum by exhausting the air from the sides the force acts on the piston due to the difference of pressure this force is uh, this force is used to operate the brake through a suitable linkage that is called as the vacuum brake systems so if you observe in the diagram these are the diagram this is the control units this is the atmosphere air transfer brake pedal this is the brake fluid this is our vacuum reservoir this is the non return valve this is the two inlet manifold this is the brake and this is the servo cylinders okay so let's we discuss this now how to operate this uh, vacuum brake guys so the number of the vehicles now we can use the vacuum brakes will be there okay it is very uh, with suitable brakes nowadays so what is here this is the another form of servo brake system or vacuum brakes where the suction from the engine inlet many fold is utilized to for brake applications okay there are two type of the vacuum servo brakes we have both incorporating a piston or diaphragm operating cylinder and provided with suitable linkage for brake applications a small vacuum reservoir this is a small vacuum reservoir is also there to provide enough vacuum for several brake application even after the engine has stopped okay so in the first type the both the side of the pistons are exposed to the atmospheres okay when brakes are in the release position for applying the brakes the engine vacuum is applied on a one side of the piston subjected to same differential pressure and thus operating the linkage in second type however both the side of the pistons are subjected to a engine vacuum in a brakes release position so to apply the brakes one side is exposed to the atmosphere this is the one side is open to the atmosphere which uh, provide the desired force on the pistons there is the pistons will be guys here the second system is called as suspended vacuum system and is prepared over the first system so because of this uh, comparatively more suspended vacuum system is prepared over the first system because this is comparatively more rapid in action okay so vacuum reservoir is connected through a non return valves okay this is connections to this non return valve this vacuum reservoir to the inlet manifolds so vacuum reservoir connected to the non return valves then connected to the inlet manifold between the carburetor and the engines okay vacuum reservoir is further connected to the servo cylinders so this is connected where to the servo cylinder is first uh, second third and this is our fourth connections 
so these are the connection there then after the this uh, connection to the servo cylinder on the both sides of the pistons on left side of the connection to the control units on the left side there is a this comp uh, from this vacuum side this is a control unit will be there guys it also contain a piston to which walls are attached there is a pistons and there is a connection of the walls will be there here this is our piston arrangement the upper wall control the connection between the atmosphere okay upper wall is connected with atmospheres and left side of the piston the servo cylinders this one is connected with uh, this atmosphere and this side left side there is a servo cylinder connection with this piston arrangement here the lower wall controls the connection between the vacuum reservoir and this lower side is connection where there is this vacuum reservoir so this is the connection of the piston and left side of the cylinder pistons the piston in the control unit itself is actuated by the brake pedal through the master cylinder as shown in figures you can observe here the brake pedal is applied and this will be transferred where the master cylinder and from the master cylinder it will be transferred to the this brake fluid and the piston will be operated when brake pedal is free the upper wall in the control unit is closed when brake this upper wall is closed lower one is open now thus both the sides of the piston and servo cylinder are exposed to the engine vacuum so how we are when the brakes pedal is applied by the brakes the pressure of the brake uh, brake fluid push the piston in the control units so whenever is this uh, brake fluid is moving upward directions in the control unit up thereby closing the lower wall and the opening the upper wall thus the left side of the servo piston is exposed to the atmospheric pressure where the vacuum is acts on the right sides this cause the servo piston to move the right and this movement is utilized to apply the brakes in the wheel to the some linkage which may be mechanical or hydraulics thus force to exerted by the driver by applying the brakes is considerable reduced and practically the whole of the braking is effort by the engine vacuums okay so the more commonly used sequence modern automobiles is to have servo cylinder called vacuum operated booster uh, operated directly by the brake pedal through the leverage the booster uh, units actuated the push rod to operate the master cylinder which is placed uh, in front of the booster units okay so you know, this is the explanation about the vacuum servo brake systems now one of the third is what is uh, electric brakes so in electrical brakes are electromagnetic is used to actuate a cam to expand the brake shoes the electromagnet is energized by the current flowing through from the battery when flow of the current is stopped the cam and a brake shoe return to their original piston positions and the brakes are disengaged electric brakes are not used in automobiles as a service of a brakes so what is the advantages of this electric brake systems electric brakes uh, claim the following advantages simple in design and installations simplified uh, operating linkage only one cable from each drum less time lag between the pressing of the brake pedal application of the brakes at the wheels much better control over the braking efforts absence of the grab no adjustment is required during its uh, lining life for a trailer brakes this type of upper much simplified connection simply one cable has to be carried to the trailer side so electric brakes are not very popular as a service brake they are commonly used as a trailer so so what is the trouble shooting of the air brakes we have to discuss this chart fault causes and remedies so compressor does not unload it causes unloader valve not working properly dismantle unload unloader valve clean it and check the fault check the air filter clean refill it it is uh, spoiled replace with new one leakage in the pipeline between the compressor and reservoir or between the reservoir and the trailer brake find out the rectify the points of the leakage defective underload valve check for aspects of the air if it is present then unloaded should be disseminated clean and rectified properly faulty compressor 
dismantle the compressor or halt and check the walls and spring leakage the brake wall or all the brake walls brake application is very slow so stuck brake control wall is used dismantle the brake control walls or it see the pistons is moving freely leakage uh, leaking the brake cylinder or halt the brake cylinder warm up the linings replace or adjust the brake linings brakes interfaces even through the reservoir pressure is sufficient so wrongly adjust the brake timings warm up the drums in correct adjust the brakes leakage the brake linings replace or adjust the brake linings check the warm out parts of the drum if necessary or true it adjust the brake correctly test for leakage rectify the leakage if it is found brake blind they grip but do not release the brake drum brakes not adjust properly defective brake wall adjust the brake properly or halt and brakes wall and then it to fit it okay so in next lecture we will be discuss the steering systems